hello. Uh, glad to see you all back from lunch. And now we've gotten to the point of dashboards. And particularly MSP environment dashboards. Before we go on, let's talk a bit about the Zabbix dashboards in general. So you know that we can create dashboards, we can represent data, we can add uh, interesting colors to them, and basically each and every data we collect, we can add on a dashboard and see it. Here's another example, uh, multiple tabs, multiple colors, looks very, very good. What are new additions in Zabbix 6.2 and 6.0? Uh, multiple widgets have been added. Uh, there's been top hosts widget, item value, geo maps, and digital clock widget added. Uh, how they work, what they are in the following slides. And uh, there have been new functionalities for the graph widget as well. And it's possible to create dashboards using API. So if you know something that you want to create, you know how to script it, go for it. You don't even need to visit front end in order to create a dashboard. Uh, so to the main topic about MSP uh, created dashboard. And I try to e emulate a real life example of that. First of all, I know some of you don't know what MSP means. We've heard that term before today, but it means managed service provider. And what you do as MSP is basically you provide some sort of service. Uh, it can be internet provider or some other uh, thing. And what you do is you handle monitoring of customer's infrastructure, you manage its devices, and uh, lots and lots of other things as well. Uh, in this case, I imagine that I'm an ISP, so internet service provider, and I have, give or take, 15, 20 customers, uh, and they all want to have a monthly bandwidth, uh, display to them, I want to know how much they are using from my side, and some other metrics as well. Uh, what the customers want to see also is uh, some sort of overview, uh, and definitely they want to see uh, if we actually give the service to them, so if we comply with SLAs. So this is something that I have come up with. Uh, this is for three customers, three biggest ones. And you can see a graph, you can see some interesting values, and you can also see where they are uh, geographically located. So how to create something like this? Uh, start with graphs. On graphs, you can put aggregations, you can put comparisons, uh, you can add custom time periods, so you can compare data uh, from one week ago, one year ago, however you want to do it. And you can use multiple data sets. Uh, in the graph, you can see uh, data coming in this week, so the bandwidth for this week compared to last week's. How to set it up? First of all, uh, if we know that all my customers will be, their host names will start with host, uh, not host, but customer, then there is a very good way how to allow to do it. And for that, we use wildcards. So each and every customer host we have automatically will be added to this graph. Same goes for the item. In this case, bandwidth will be interface. It can be whatever you want. I just use a wildcard. Uh, and yeah, that one item will be shown. Uh, but if you have used Zabbix before, you know that each and every uh, customer we have here will have the same colored graphs. How to avoid it? Easy. We use overrides. The graph widget, it has a lot of options and overrides is one of them. And here, I specifically show you that customer A, B, and C will have different colors. And that means that automatically, when graph is created, the colors are shown uh, according to the overrides I have set. Uh, yeah, but that's not it. We also want to set up aggregations for the graph. Uh, that is possible. For that, we must use multiple data sets. Uh, and on one of the data sets, we set up uh, time shift zero, so current time or whatever time you want, and some sort of aggregation function. Uh, and then interval when it will be happening. Uh, another data set we set historical. 
uh, data. So something that's happened one week ago, for that we use time shift, in this case, minus one week. Everything else says the same. Of course we can change it, but then what's the point? Uh, yeah, and this is how, for all my customers, this would look like. I have three customers, so six data sets. The darker, darker colors are the ones which are coming in this week, uh, not this week, but now. And the lighter ones are for the previous week. Uh, next one, I want to see some couple of item value values on my dashboard. Of course, if they have 10,000 items, I don't want to represent that. I only want to see the most vital ones. And uh, yeah, how to create them? Easy, use item value widget. A uh, lot of configuration here, but the main points are about advanced configuration. And this allows you to place uh, the value, the time, the description, everything where you want it, how big you want it to be, how you want it to look. Also, you can change the color of the item, the value widget itself, and you can change uh, the uh, icon, which represents the data. Usually, uh, more data means good, sometimes it means bad, and we can change the colors based on whatever we want. Uh, yeah, and this is for all my true customers. I've created uh, item value widget, easy to do it. You create it, you copy it, paste it, change the information about the host, that's it. Uh, yeah, another widget we have now is the top hosts one. This one allows you to display uh, some things you want. In this case, it is bandwidth consumers and display some sort of thresholds for them. Uh, yeah, in this case, uh, different colors for different thresholds, and this allows us to see that maybe some of the customers are using too much or too less in whatever we want to do. So how to do it here? On the widget level, what we use here are hosts, host groups, and tags. It was mentioned a couple of times today that tags are very important in new Zabbix versions, and one place where you can use them is here. And yeah, filter by tags, very easy. I can display only the most important hosts. That's what I'm trying to show here, that gravity important, only these ones will be shown. Uh, then the columns, only two here. I can add more, doesn't matter. And then, yeah, the sorting. I sort by some sort of column, and then either from the top or for the bottom. In my case, from the top. Then clicking edit on the column itself opens up column options. And here I can actually set up the thresholds. Uh, one thing to notice here, these thresholds are no relation to any triggers, anything like that. These are the ones I set up. And then based on the color, the widget will change. That's why you can see the, uh, the widget and the bars with different colors in them. Uh, one more thing I want to do is I want to display those hosts in real life locations. And this allows me to see on a map if they have problems, if they are working well, and where they actually are. So how to create this map? If we want to display a host on a geo map, we need to indicate where it's located at. For that, we use inventory particularly two fields, latitude and longitude. This one, uh, yeah, we can set it up manually or we can get it from an item. So depending on how you want to, you can do it. Uh, here as well as you can see, I'm filtering by host groups and I can use tags. Uh, the initial view, uh, depending on the size, you can create uh, initial view of the whole world, if we are intentional, or in my case, I know I'm a local provider, so I just, uh, yeah, will display Riga. And uh, there is a possibility to use different map vendors. Uh, so yeah, if you have some, then you can add it as well. Uh, there is a list of them already available, up to you. Uh, then finally, digital clock widget has arrived. So please applause for that. Fantastic. Uh, all right. 
Uh, one more thing. Uh, yeah, that's been changed in 6.0 and newer versions is the functions. And if you don't know, lots and lots of new functions have been added. And uh, in my particular case as MSP, I want to see everything that happens to all my customers. And for that, I use MSP uh, for each functions. Total eight of them. Uh, yeah, each does its own thing. Basically what you do, you aggregate data based on host groups you provide, based on items using wildcards, and based on tags. So tags, very, very important. Uh, how to create it? Calculated item, same as before, any host you want, create an item, type calculated, and make the formula. So here, what I want is the total bandwidth for all of my important customers. And I do it, easy. Uh, sum, summing everything up, then the new function for each indicates uh, item, so with wildcard, and group my customers and only important ones by using tag. And then, in the result, I get bandwidth usage for all of my customers. Uh, yeah, what happens if I want to add a new customer? What I need to do? I don't need to change my dashboard. Uh, I need to change some things, but some things happen automatically. What happens automatically? Graphs, geo maps, top hosts widget, and calculated items widget, it gets updated automatically, which means that I do not have to do these things manually. Manually, I need to add new item value widgets, and maybe change the name of the dashboard if I want to. And as a result, I get something like this. Uh, only thing I added here was the new item value widgets, the pink ones. Everything else automatically updated. So uh, that's that easy, adding new customer. If you're using tags, host groups properly, everything happens automatically. Uh, but like I said, my customers also want to see something. For that, I have created specific customer dashboard. It consists of their bandwidth usage compared to last month. It uh, consists of SLA, so basically that we are actually giving them the service. Uh, some network map of them, active problems, and again, some item values. Uh, what happens if I want to duplicate these? Because I know I will have multiple customers. Uh, easy, copy the dashboard, change widget options to the correct host I'm talking about, and update SLA widget to contain the correct information. And if needed, I can add custom widgets as well. Uh, this was already mentioned, but it's very important to understand that currently you can make a user account in Zabbix that only sees one particular dashboard. That's it. No other functionality is available for it, only the single dashboard. And that is some, in a way, how you can display only something for one customer. Uh, yeah. What are the future additions to the dashboards that we can expect? Uh, quite a lot of them. And uh, uh, the top, top, top priorities is dynamic change of color for item value widget. Uh, so this means that now you can change it manually, but then based on a threshold, it will change automatically. Uh, if you have worked with item, uh, not item, but graph widget before, then you know it takes some time and hands-on approach to understand how it works. We want to make it easier, and that will be in the future versions. And uh, you might ask, okay, now you have like 20 widgets, but we want more. We want 50, 100, million. Okay, million maybe no, but let's say 100. Why it's not there and why it takes so long to implement it? It's because currently we are developing a framework for widget creation, and that will allow us to easily add more widgets if needed. Uh, yeah, uh, gauge graphs. These will also be here. And uh, yeah, the last thing I want to mention is discovered, uh, discovered entity visualization widget. Currently, if you low level discover something, it takes time to set up the graphs properly. And we want to change that. We want to uh, be able to uh, do this automatically, that with minimal configuration, even the discovered entities will be shown. And 
that's about it. Thank you. Yeah.